135 pounds. Former NABF lightweight champion, 30 pounds, 26, 19, and 4. 13 knockouts in his for Johnson and Augustus. Most visited tourist spot in the state of Arizona. Behind Augustus finds the mark. And he's coming out very aggressive here around the great steakhouse. Augustus in the black trunks in John's backyard. And he always says that he's in John's to work like he did in that great fight with Mickey. He probably enjoy that more than most. Idea. When you put yourself on the defense, do not. Comes right back. But Johnson went defensive too much. When you go defensive too much with a man. So the first of ten in the books for Augustus and John. Those freebies early on in his career. He doesn't know it. So 126 punches, 39 of 120. Diving, doing a little dancing, a little mocking. He's in a little too close in that no man's. Lost to Leonard Doreen. Said, hey, he was the better man. Augustus needs to be in. Teddy Allen. Here, but he's got the ability to create just enough back his height. Standing right in that no man's land. Not quite as tight. Typical early evening in the desert. And every once in a while, you can rely on him in a bad way. His straight and was able to land. Four world title and been knocked out both times. He's also beaten two. Some people just handle the punishment better. A little bit, but unstable A little bit. And that's why you have to have these Gonzalez. Nazarov stopped him in the seventh round. Nice fight. He's 135. It yes, it does. The only thing is, he's slowing the pace down a little. To Scottsdale, Arizona for ESPN Two's Friday Night Fights. Bob Pop Andrew Johnson. He officially changed his name. His parents. In. He's effective when he lays. 741 punches landed combined. 2,100 punches. To me, at least, like, he had many opportunities. I'm wondering how much that will have to do with this, at this point in his life, when he's been fighting his most his fights at junior welterweight. Wait, wait. Instead of the junior welterweight. Yeah, that bothered Emmanuel Augustus a little bit. Looking like a guy, I know he plays around a lot, but looking like a guy that may. Teddy Atlas, glad you've been joining us for ESPN 2. Friday night fights for all. Through only 70 punches. Johnson seemed in the past to start to admire. He allows his opponent to not worry about anything coming. Judges had a very close fight. Two of the judges were in La La Land. He moves his head well. Well, where do you hit a guy when he moves his head well? No. Defensive. Not no. working. No. Very spotty. Gus is going to Get rally yeah. in the later yeah. round. It's going to happen. I don't know if Johnson is taking it. Augustus loves to take those middle rounds off. Emmanuel Augustus and Leavander Johnson underway round number. By the we are in the desert. It's over 100 degrees. And, and that fighter, if there was a fighter who dried out, you can suffer, especially in a hot place. Now 66. And once again, Johnson getting away. Right eye. There's something bothering. See, this is the get some good opportunities offensively. Oh, his work was left in the gym. Not a lot of punches from Emmanuel Augustus. The advantage is in the fight. First three rounds controlled by Augustus. The uh, trainer, Nelson Lopez. A lackluster performance so far. Back then on April the 12th, he fought at 142 pounds. I believe Johnson has been given a free ride. Dead even. Have it the same way. Three rounds apiece. Oh, those legs look a little unsteady to me. A little off. Whoever makes the other man back up, he will score. A win against a guy ranked. Johnson up. To me, those legs look a little off balance. Get up to go. Teddy Atlas ringside in Scottsdale, Arizona. Throwing a lot of leather. Consistent. Equal offense. Johnson has a good jab. He's got a little height. He's used a little side to side. He just has to be careful. He doesn't go straight back down. Doesn't seem like there's physically much on his punch. It is. But only one punch from Augusta. Is that body work by Johnson again? If he is going to be inside, he's going there. Yeah, from Johnson. Johnson in between rounds eight and nine. And
once he gets to Ogunsi, he comes forward. Ogunsi is looking at Cat Johnson going by Teddy Square Card 3 8. Now Johnson inside where that does mystify you a little bit, doesn't it? But I believe both fights inside. Why is he not going to that fight where he's had such great success? Emmanuel Augustus revived for this last round. On 150 punches out of either side. Ending his job to pull straight back. Oh, oh. Clash of heads. Oh. He has escaped oh, that problem. Yeah, this is now being stopped off for a little clash of heads. Ah. Oh, there's a low blow. Going straight back. He Watch gets the window up. Then got lazy in the fight. It became close. And now it's feet. Right now, a close fight here. Emmanuel Augustus and Liv Hardy. He affects him. I don't know why he has abandoned. There's the bell to end the fight. To Johnson, 24% for Augustus. Planted 27% of his power. Augustus, it's that close. Time for the official judges score. This bout is a draw. Check his credentials. Let's put him on a list to watch.